I actually didn't grow up in any particular faith tradition. Um, we were nominally raised Catholic and my parents dropped out of the Catholic Church about when I guess I was maybe eight years old. I was um, self-identified as an agnostic from the time I knew what the word was right on up until I was 19 years old and became um, a believer by choice in um, Christ Jesus and in the Christian faith. I understand that that's really kind of as much an accident of my birth and where I was born and the particular language, the faith language that I heard around me. I started out in the Catholic Church and transitioned into the United Methodist Church because I realized early on that I was called to ordain ministry and the Roman Catholic Church would not ordain me. So I moved into the United Methodist Church and pursued my studies and became ordained, um, served as a clergy for a number of years and then realized that if I had been honest through my ordination process with the United Methodist Church that I was a lesbian, they would not have ordained me. It came to a matter of choosing between my partner and choosing between my ministry, choosing between lying about who I am and choosing to embrace integrity, to embrace who I am with full integrity and to identify myself as a lesbian beloved child of God, created in God's image as a lesbian. And I chose to resign my credentials in the United Methodist Church, went on a two-week vacation, started attending Metropolitan Community Churches, and had my ordination reaffirmed within that wonderful denomination. So part of the reason why I do LGBT-oriented ministry, queer-oriented ministry, is because I know firsthand what it is like to be included in the life of a church and then suddenly to be dismissed because someone thought that I didn't measure up, someone thought that I um, was a sinner, that they should try to love me to, as they say, um, love the sinner but hate the sin. Um, how that translated to me and how I experienced that was that you're not good enough for the gospel. That um, you don't measure up and that there's something more that you have to do in order to be a part of who we are. And that didn't jive with what I understood, the gospel and how I came to faith. It, didn't under, it did not jive with the inclusive, radically inclusive gospel. Because Jesus says it's whosoever believes. And Jesus didn't ask people about, well, what denomination are you? Um, what doctrine do you practice? Um, he didn't even ask people if they were straight, gay, lesbian. He didn't ask any of those things. But he loved all of them and invited all of them to have a place at the table. I'm tired of well-meaning individuals within the Christian church who lie about who I am. I'm tired of being victimized by spiritual abuse. I want people out there who have experienced that withdrawing of God's love, quote unquote, through the institutional church to realize that there's an alternative not just in my denomination, Metropolitan Community Churches, but many other churches, um, synagogues, temples. There are many places where you are welcome. And it's part of my job to help you find those places.